out there. Hey, you had a lunatic on a subway, and uh, you know, and it ended tragically for my for my nephew. This is 24-year-old Carlton McPherson, who police say randomly pushed a man to his death in front of the train at the 125th Street station in East Harlem. Cops say it was unprovoked. 54-year-old Jason Voles, a lifelong New Yorker who was living in the Bronx, was killed. Tuesday night, Voltz's uncle tells me his nephew was compassionate and turning his life around. As far as I knew him all his life, I would say that would be his, his top quality is that he always cared more about others than he did for himself. Volz's neighbor in the Bronx saw it for himself. He was an honest person. You know, he was a sincere gentleman and, you know, he always respected me. Court records show McPherson had been arrested at least twice before for assault. His mother reportedly saying he had been hospitalized at least twice for mental health treatment. Mayor Adams speaking about it Tuesday. And the second issue that we have in this city is a severe mental health illness problem. That was played out on 125th Street and Lexington Avenue at the subway station. The MTA has recently rolled out scout teams or workers who respond to people having mental health issues underground. Transit President Richard Davies spoke about it at a committee meeting Monday. So getting the scout teams and being able to move folks into the services that they need, which is not jail. Uh, but hospitalization, medication, the kinds of services are critically important. We've already seen some success there. I just feel so heartbroken because, you know, life is so short and you never know when things can happen. And Governor Hochul has set aside $20 million to expand the scout program. The MTA board will learn more about that at a board meeting on Wednesday.